What's up guys? So after doing a bunch of grinding, I finally unlocked Ember's first quest, other than the recruitment one of course. Uh, it took about a 1500 companion report to get this quest. And what I mean by about, I mean exactly 1500. I'll show you in her menu once we speak to her, but I couldn't actually access her companion menu until I accept the quest. And I didn't want to do that until I got it on the recording. So we're going to accept it and then we're going to check out her companion menu so I can show you exactly when she got her companion quest. For the record, at 1500, she goes into a different status of emotion towards you, so she will be considered friendly. Uh, she will consider you friendly, so once she goes into friendly, that's when she'll unlock the companion quest. So let's go ahead and talk to her and see what she says. Good at this sort of thing, but there's something I want to talk to you about. Did I ever tell you I grew up in Skywatch? I was raised on the streets, but not alone. I have friends, good ones, and I want your help finding them. All right. I mean, I don't see a problem with that. Uh, you don't know where your friends are? That's a little strange. I, I think. No, we were just a bunch of street kids, but we were close. We made do with what little we could scrounge up. Carved out a good life for ourselves. But one day, they just vanished. Vanished? It's a little... It's a little strange and ominous. Uh, just like that? And you don't know what happened? I went out to find us a meal, and when I got back, Jaka, Silver Slip, and Song were just gone. I've spent years trying to find any trace of them without any luck. But I finally have a lead from a friend in Skywatch. I want you to come with me. Yeah, not a problem at all, Amber. I'll go with you to Skywatch to check out uh, this tip that you received. The tip came from an old friend, Brisha. We'll find him near Skywatch. Big softy never left the place. This is the first lead on my friends I've had in years. I'm afraid to get my hopes up. It's been so long. Is this really my chance to find them? Um... Tell me more about your friends. Like I said, there were four of us. We were all out on the streets for one reason or another. It's a tough life. Most turn a blind eye to dirty, hungry-looking street urchins. So we learned to look out for each other. We were inseparable. Okay, so tell me about Jaka. Eh, most people were scared of Jaka. He's a Palmer, so everyone wrote him off as a big dumb brute. But I've never met a kinder soul. He was always so generous, even though he didn't have a coin to his name. He was spiritual, too. How so? Uh, I, I don't really know. I don't subscribe to that stuff personally, and he never pushed it on any of us. He just meditated a lot and always had something wise to say. Never got angry either, unless someone messed with me, Silver Slip, or Song, that is. Yeah, okay. Well, since you don't subscribe to that, maybe you'll subscribe to me in this channel. <laughs> Alright, tell me more about Silver Slip. She's funny, that one. We called her Silver Slip because she was always slipping in and out of the shadows. Like a knife, that girl. She never talked much about her past, but I don't think it was pleasant. Why do you say that? Silver Slip was all bare teeth and blood, even as a kid. Jaka might have been the tallest, but Silver Slip was definitely the muscle of our operation. She could make a grown man piss himself in three words or less. <laughs> Probably a survival tactic. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, tell me more about Song. Song was the best of us. She was quiet and kind. Our moral compass. Balanced the rest of us out, you know? She never told us where she came from, but I think it had to be somewhere nice. She had manners and knew how to charm people. Useful, then. Yeah, okay. You're saying you think she came from money. Something like that. She had nice clothes when we found her and just generally acted different. But she never complained about sleeping on the streets or sharing a moldy heel of bread between four people. She just seemed happy to be with us. That seems like a genuine friend. Tell me more about what happened the days uh the day the others disappeared. <clears throat> well, I went out to find us a meal like usual. But when I got back to our base, they were gone. I sat around for a while like an idiot. Figuring they were just off doing something. Then I noticed signs of a struggle in the dirt. What do you think happened? No idea. Nothing good, I'll tell you that. 
I asked around for months, trying to find someone who saw anything, heard anything. Whatever happened to them happened real quiet. Maybe because someone didn't want anyone finding out. That's crazy. Have you been back to Skywatch ever since? Every so often. If a caravan that hired me passed by, I'd sneak back in and talk to people. But I was always worried that someone might be looking for me. I had no idea who took the others. So my imagination ran a little wild. Mostly I stayed away. The, this is actually really sad. She's alone in the world, you know? Alright, let's go to Skywatch then. Luckily, we're already right next to a... A, uh... A way shrine. Alright, Skywatch. It really helps that I know where most of these locations are. Alright, so where are we going? Let's look at the map. We're literally right in the center of town. So let's go ahead on hop on our uh, and hop on our little pony and see what we can find out. Hopefully we find what the situation. If I didn't say this before, the quest is called Cold Trail. Um, pretty interesting. There, that's Brisha. <gasps> you talk to him. I'm going to hang back and keep watch. I, I don't want anything surprising us. I thought it was a chick. Uh, this one does not know your face, but Ember. It is a joy for these old eyes to see her well, even if she is still a bit jumpy. <laughs> she watches the area just as she did when she was a child. Always uneasy. Are you her friend? Yeah, I am, as a matter of fact. I'm actually trying to help uh, Amber find her friends. She said you might have a tip? A passing merchant mentioned the Palmar at the Gateway Inn in Sadrit Mura. A brawler fighting for entertainment. When I asked for details, he described Jakob perfectly. Mild-mannered, oh. orange and black markings. Three earrings in each ear. It's him. Why would Jakob be in Sadith Mora? If the merchant is to be believed, Jakob's there because he's a Telvani slave. I don't know how long he's been in Vardenfell, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was sold off as soon as he was snatched from Skywatch. The thought breaks my heart. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks for the information. Ember and I will investigate this personally. I'm grateful for any information about the fates of my friends, old man. You've been oh. a great help. <laughs> you can show your appreciation by not calling me old man. <laughs> <laughs> I actually if caught that too. Chica, silver slip or pretty little song. You let this one know. Yes. And be careful, Ember. I will, I promise. And then we'll be back to eat all your bread. Just like the old days. Aw. I totally forgot to look at her companion menu, by the way. I cannot picture sweet, gentle Jaka in the fighting pit. In Sadrith Mora of all places. If he's truly a Telvanni slave, I will tear out every throat I find. This is my fault. If only I'd been faster that day. Come on, let's get to the gateway in. Let's go through her dialogue really fast, and then we'll go into the companion menu. I hope I remember this time. Uh, you seem to have some strong opinions about Sadith Mora. Can you blame me? There's no reason besides tracking down Jakka that I would willingly enter that land of hateful, enslaving dark elves. If I could, I'd send that meteor that floats in their sky into the Talvani land. That's funny. Uh... Is it really Jaka? Do you think the Talvani are going to give us trouble if we try to free them? <laughs> I'd like to see them try. I'll be on my best behavior because I want to find Jaka. But if a Talvani so much as touches me, I can't be held accountable for what I do. A lightning bolt through the skull might do some of them good anyway. <laughs> Man, I like her a lot. I just hate her hair. I can't... Like, I like everything about her. Her colors, her... Uh, just her personality. The... Like, just the way that she is, you know? is She's a fantastic companion. I hate her hair. It just... Not that it's... Not the hairstyle itself, per se. But just the fact that, in my opinion... It just doesn't make sense to a Khajiit for some reason. I don't know. Maybe I'm alone in this. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys are. But yeah, I like Ember a lot though. Uh, you don't have a high opinion of Dark Elves, do you? What if I was a Dark Elf? Not all of them. 
I just get mad thinking about the ones who kept Khajiit and Argonian slaves. I know not all Dark Elves are like that, so I shouldn't be so distrustful. But the Telvanni definitely are. Arrogant bastards. Well, that, that's fair. You can hate a group of people who are doing very evil things. You know, that's natural, right? The entire world hated, you know, World War II people. But, uh, anyways. Uh, can you keep your temper in check while we investigate? behave don't worry once we find Jaka, i plan to get them out of there as quietly as possible preferably in a manner that doesn't involve me shoving a dagger between telvani ribs <laughs> <laughs> but that's really up to them isn't it i i think it's more up to us if i'm being completely honest just by doing this to begin with although it's i guess understandable you know but anyways uh are you worried about Jaka being in a fighting pit definitely if it had been Silver Sleep, I would have felt sorry for her opponents. But Jaka is too sweet for that kind of violence. He's strong, but he hates violence. Still, back in the day, there was no one better to have in a tavern brawl. Do you get into a lot of tavern brawls there, Ember? Eh, not really, but we would start them Liar. pretty frequently. Once everyone was in on the action, Silver Slip and I used to make good coin picking pockets among the mayhem. Easy money, beyond the occasional bruise or lump from flying fists or dishes. This kind of contradicts itself. I asked her if she gets into a lot of, you know, brawl, brawls or whatever she said. Not really, but we start them pretty frequently. How do you start a brawl fight, but you don't really get into brawl fights? That just doesn't make sense. Unless I'm understanding it wrong, I don't know. Oh, let's look. Need to get to gateway in. Companion menu. Alright, so as soon as it goes into friendly, this is about where I unlocked this quest. And it was at 1500 rapport. I don't know if this is going to show on you guys, though I do use an add-on to track uh, companion rapport for this very reason. But as soon as she goes into friendly, right around here is where she unlocks this quest, if you guys are interested. I am in the process of leveling her up so and all of her stuff so yeah there's that so let me see where are we going we're going to set it uh Sadith Mora that's in um Vardenfell okay yeah so let's go back in this direction because we're not going to go the direction that it wants us to go because it wants us to go I guess down south probably wants us to take a boat but since I've already unlocked it I am on my main character by the way I do main a tank uh yeah, I just, I kind of already have everything unlocked. Sadith Mora. I thought I clicked on the way shrine. I guess not. I wonder if this is actually going to be... Easy to get lost in a place like this. I think that's one of my favorite parts about cities. That's almost like a Bastion quote. I like cities. <laughs> Bastion says some pretty ridiculous things sometimes. Like, this is not where I'm going. Oh, it's around the corner. Got it. Let's go this way. A little cheap. Shortcut. Keep up, Ember. Taking forever here. It's too much to hope that we find Jaka outside, sweeping or something. Come on. I guess we have to I feel like my out. alarm goes off every time I'm recording. Our service here at the Gateway Inn is second to none. If you say so. If the owner or his wife... Oh, he looks asked, cool. Tell them I was enthusiastic in serving you. My friend and I are looking for a... Pomar? That works here. Pomar? What do you want with one of them? Eh, I don't care. Go ask the inn owner. I'm just supposed to tempt customers with our delicious <laughs> food. <laughs> He's cool. Okay, so I'm taking this as the owner? The Gateway Inn boasts an impressive clientele. I do not remember seeing the likes of you or your friend here before. I do hope you find everything to your liking. Oh, he hates Khajiits. You heard it in his voice when he says, your friend. Okay, anyways, I'm looking for a Palmer uh, you may have working here. Ah, uh, Jara, or was it Jaka? 
You're referring to my husband Moneymaker, I assume. Sadly, you're too late. I sold him a few weeks ago. He was getting slow, complained about being sick. People don't pay for a limp-fisted brawler. Uh, do you know where he is by any chance? Sure I do. And I'll even tell you where. Provided the brute is still alive. He had such weak lungs for a creature so big. But first, you do something for me. My information does not come free of charge. Uh, I suppose. What What is it that you want me to do? A jeweler by the name of Vavisi Uleni is selling a lovely bracelet that I wish to acquire for my wife. But she won't come down on the price. Vavisi sells outside till Naga most days. Get me that bracelet, and I'll tell you what I know. He's gonna force me to buy it, isn't he? A bracelet? Oh no! Can't I just stab this guy in the ribs and get the information that way? No? <laughs> Fine. That's that's funny. She is wild. Ember, you feisty sob. She. Is <laughs> Can I just stab him in the ribs? <laughs> she has a plan. Where is she? Oh, there she is. I'm about to say, where'd she go? That must be Barbisi's there. A merchant like that always has the most valuable wares on their person. No problem. I can rifle around in her pockets without her ever suspecting a thing. So I'm a distraction. To work, I'm going to need your help. Yeah, I'm going to be a distraction for her. Uh, what do you need me to do? You might not love this, but trust me, it'll be fun. <laughs> I used to do this trick with Song and Silver Sleep whenever we needed some extra coin. I'm going to turn you into a monkey. Then, you run up to Barbisi and distract her so I can pinch the bracelet. Why can't I just talk to her? You're going to what? Hilarious, right? <laughs> You'll be just enough of a distraction. Just rifle through her stuff. All eyes will be on you. And no one will notice me slipping a hand into her pocket. It's perfect. But the spell won't last forever, so we have to do this quick. <sighs> oh... Ember, you mischievous little cat. All right, we can try it. <laughs> I'm a monkey. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> what is going on here? Hey, it didn't work. What is what? Oh, it's this person. I went the wrong way. What? What is this? Ooh, 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 ooh. Can I can I not look in here? Away with you, filthy flea-bitten creature! <laughs> no. Dude, I like being a monkey. What? <laughs> so stupid! My God, I can't believe I'm a monkey. Oh, hello. <laughs> you are a little too good at that. You make a pretty cute monkey anyway. Aww. I got the bracelet. It's just as ugly as I imagined. It'll be perfect for that overblown bastard's wife. Come on, let's get back to the inn and throw it in his face. Sure, why not? Ugh, that red-eyed piece of guar dung just made us do his bidding for no other reason than to make sure we know how superior the Telvani are. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Turning you into a monkey was fun, but now all I can think about is wringing that bastard's neck. Let's just get the information we need and get out of here, Ember. You're right. Thanks. I needed that. I have to remember that we're here for Jaka. I can suffer anything if it means finding him in the end. And I know someday, the debt that the Talvani have incurred will come due. I hope I'm around to see it. Alright, goodbye. Um... I don't remember the events of Morrowind. Do the Talvani get any kind of justification dealt to them? I don't remember. I don't... I don't think so. Damn, it's been a long time since I played Morrowind. I don't really remember the events as well. Hey, you. Ah, you again. Yep. I'd nearly forgotten about you. Do I dare hope you procured the bracelet I asked for? Shut up. Here's the bracelet. Exquisite. Am I correct in assuming your little friend back there did the deed? The cats who aren't properly trained to behave tend to be good little thieves. Now, I am a man of my word. 
I sold the sickly palmer to a group of bandits. Where can I find said bandits? The gentleman I did business <coughs> with told me that his band was headed to Polk next. Here, I'll mark the location for you. The man's name was Browsa in the door. And that, my friend, is all the information I have for you. Now kindly scurry off. I hate that guy. I do. Okay. So how far is this? Is this still here? Um. I don't see it on the map. Maybe if I do it this way? Okay, hold on. I don't see it. Oh, it's right there. No wonder I couldn't see it. It's freaking tiny. There's no way shrine. I mean, I guess that way shrine up there is closer. So let's go ahead and go around here, take this way shrine to that other way shrine. That's a lot of way shrines in one sentence. But that way we're at least a little bit closer. It'll be a lot faster if we just take this one and then just follow the road south. It appears to be inside of a delve though, so we may need to go in there. There's probably like some sort of, I think he did say it's a bandit camp, right? Or a, a group of bandits, I should say. Okay, no worries. Let's destroy these people. Are we gonna have to kill them all? Probably, I wouldn't be surprised. And honestly, I wouldn't be mad. They're, they're bandits. Alright. Where are we? Haha! -ha! This is the place. Well, let's check before we rush in. I am not Russian. I am American. Hence, Amerigamer. If Ositos was telling the truth and Jaka is really sick, then we need to rescue him quick. I have no idea what a bunch of bandits would want with a sick Pamar. I can't imagine they're nursing him back to health out of the goodness of their hearts. Uh, how do you want to do this? Whoops. As quickly and efficiently as possible. If Jaka is in there, I don't want him suffering any longer than he has to. I've already made him suffer long enough. And if we get to knock some heads along the way, all the better. Come on, let's get inside. No worries, let's go find Jaka. Keep your eyes and ears open. Remember, Jaka's a Pamar. So he's probably going to be hard to miss. Even still, let's stay vigilant. I'm not wasting this chance. I have waited too long to lose track of him now. Are you alright? I'll be better once we find Jaka. It's just, if I'd gotten back a little faster that day, maybe I could have stopped him and the others from being taken. He suffered this whole time because I wasn't quick enough. Because a I wasn't there. Amber, none of this is your fault. Remember that. Thanks for saying that. I don't know if I believe you, but it's nice to hear anyway. I'm not helping Jaka or any of them by sitting here whining. It's just something that's been weighing on me, you know? So, thanks for listening. Let's go. Alright, let's make this right by saving Jaka. You're right. I'm not doing him any favors by sitting here feeling sorry for myself. I may not have been able to help him then, but I'll be damned if I can't help him now. There you go. <laughs> thanks for that. Honestly. Now come on, let's go. Calm down, let's go destroy some freaking bandits and save Jaka Polk. Polk? That, that sounds weird. It almost sounds like puke. I don't know. Maybe that's just in my head. Alright, how far do we have to go? It's literally right around the corner. Come on, Ember. Let's destroy some bandit lunatics. Hey, look, somebody else is doing the quest. Maybe. Oh, that's not... Man, that was just telling me to go down. Okay, how far do we have to go? Then I go left here. Hey, look, it's somebody else. We're not the only ones that have gotten this far with Ember. I've been grinding her nonstop trying to get this quest. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's this way. Dude, it's like all of the enemies are dead. All of them. All of them. The little shadow of Skywatch. Hey, Jaka. Please, 
The bandits locked me inside this cage and left me here. This one wishes to be free. Well, you can continue wishing. Bye! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> here, let me release you, Jakar. Oh! Okay, he just teleported right through the... <laughs> okay! Let's go with that. Not even in this one's wildest fevered hallucinations could I have imagined seeing Ember after all these years. What a gift! She looks well, healthy, and strong. And she has found a strong companion. Jakar is relieved. He's a tiger! Uh, Ember has been searching for you for a long time. Are you alright? Once, Jakar wondered if Ember had orchestrated some part of our family's fate. But that thought passed as quickly as it came. The little girl with the ember eyes, she would never harm us. She... she was... <laughs> oh no, I hope he's okay. Uh, let's get you out of here and we can talk some more. Yes, of course. Thank you. This one had hoped not to die in this wet, dark place, but had resigned myself to it all the same. This is a welcome change. Jakar will follow you to safety. Lead the way. Let's go. You know, I never... I never made any sense of it. But now I understand why her name is Ember. Because of her Ember eyes. That is remarkable. This one can keep up. Do not worry. Don't worry. I'll keep you safe. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh, I'm not trying to take a nap here. What's going on? Wait, what the hell? Did I make a wrong turn? No. Oh, hello. I didn't even see you. I should, I should take some bewitched sugar skulls. Why the hell? Oh, stupid. It was this way. How did I not see that? Aw. Dude, why am I finding it so hard to get out of this cave? <laughs> no! Leave those citizens alone! It's this way, right? Yes, perfect. We're definitely already out of here. This one never thought he'd leave this place. Okay, Amber, you can finish him off. Let's go, come on, guys. Is it... Yes. Very nice. We made it. This one can smell fresh air. Oh, that's just my ass. I'm sorry. Smells out here in Vardenfell. Just kidding. Alright. Well, I'm about to say, where's Jaka? Talk to Jaka, <laughs> would you? I want to heal him a bit. Why can't you talk to him? He's your friend. Ooh, that outfit on her looks sick. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're just, they, oh, uh, they're just inside each other. Sounds weird, but okay. Oh, the fresh air already makes this one feel better. I am in your debt. And Ember, how clever she was to track me down. She was always so smart. I used to love the way her eyes all but burned in her skull when she was trying to solve a problem. Do you remember what happened the day you were taken? It was all very sudden. It was a group of mercenaries, though not any faction this one was familiar with. They descended quickly and incapacitated me. Then, they went for silver slip and song. There was one strange thing. What was strange? It was silver slip's expression. She looked scared as they took her and song away. You must understand, silver slip was never scared. Even when truly afraid, it manifested as anger. It was odd, as if she knew something in that moment we did not. Huh. Interesting. Can you remember anything else? Ember wants to track down Song and Silver Slip too, by, uh, by the way. This one remembers very clearly an insignia on the mercenary's armor. It is burned into my mind. But for all these years, I have not been free to investigate it. Now that I am safe, 
I will focus on getting well and hunt down that symbol. Thanks, Jaka. Thank you again for rescuing this one. You have a good heart. Jaka can tell. And Ember would not be with you if she did not fully trust you. Her trust is a hard thing to earn. You are quite special indeed. And this one is thankful for you. What will you do now that you're free, my friend? Ah, it's good for Jaka to even think of this. Many days were full of despair, and I did not wish to think of the future. First, I will get far away from this place. I will get healthy again, and I will help Ember. We will find lost friends. That's good. How did you end up separated from Silverslip and Song? I saw both of my friends accosted. Then it went dark. When I came to, I could hear Song weeping. After that, there was a magic sleep, I think. When it wore off, I was in the belly of a stinking dark elf boat. Hey, just like our main character in Morrowind. I'm sorry that happened to you, Jaka. You're kind. I am at ease now that I see Ember, and now that I have my freedom back. Jaka will recover and see what other adventures Joan and Jod have in store. Okay. See you later, my friend. Ember? Thanks for talking with him. I didn't trust myself not to cry. When I was small, hanging around Jaka always made me feel safe. Even now that I'm grown, I have that same feeling. I can't believe we found him after all this time. Thank you. Why do I get the feeling it's Silver Slip who orchestrated all of this? We're going to save Song next, probably. And uh, once we save her, she's probably going to give us some revealing information about Silver Song. Or Silver Slip, excuse me. Uh, Jaka mentioned he might have a lead on the mercenaries who took the others. I heard. That's good. But for now, let's just enjoy this victory. I'd almost given up hope of finding my friends. Thanks to you. I have faith again. I couldn't have done this without you. Jaka and I both owe you so much more. But here, take this. What is this? Ember's intuition allowed you to pickpocket this wallet of coins from one of your marks? Ember, you've grown so much. This one is so grateful to see how strong you've become. Oh, you big lug. <laughs> I missed you. I swore I would find you no matter what it took, even if the two moons Thank fell you, from the sky. Sister. You have found me, so be at peace. Next, we will find Silver Slip and Song. Ah, oh, that warms my heart. I'm so glad they're reunited. Let's go continue grinding so we can unlock her next quest and potentially her last one. I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and do that.